guys i know you are quite shocked and you're like hold on what's going on here <laughs> but welcome back to my channel it's still me Bumesha Nase, and for today's video i wanted to recreate a drag look that uh, was on nikki tutorials channel I will put the little video here, the thumbnail, so you can see what I'm talking about. I was just scrolling through YouTube as usual and I saw this video and I'm like, why not do it? Why not recreate, do something different on my channel? I've never done anything like this before and I just thought it would be fun. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this look, I struggled. I'm going to tell you now, I struggled. But it was fun <laughs> if you want to see how i achieved this look please make sure that you carry on watching don't forget to subscribe and yeah do enjoy so i feel like before we can get started with this um i actually need to tie this hair because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I just want this out of the way. And I don't know whose bright idea this was, but <laughs> we are going to see if we are actually going to be able to accomplish all of this, but I honestly doubt it. But it's all for fun, it's all for fun. So now the first thing that they start off with is blocking the brows. Now, they use print or glue stick, whatever term you use for, for that. Let me just ask the kids if my name is glue stick, hold on. So, yay, we've got glue after years of looking. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I don't think I'm actually properly prepared for this video, you guys, because I am just wasting time by looking for stuff, which I should have already. So, I'm not sure if this glue stick is actually the same uh like consistency as the one oh, they used but glue stick is glue stick right and my one is this color okay so basically we are brushing these babies up like that oh man this should be fine oh oh i don't think they use that much <laughs> I am going ham. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't wait how this is to see how this is gonna come out, honestly. Guys, this could be like an epic fail. <laughs> I'm just saying saying it now. So that if it is a fail, you guys don't laugh at me. <laughs> well, okay, you are allowed to laugh at me because I don't know why I am doing this kind of video. <laughs> you know, I was just scrolling through like uh, videos on youtube trying to get ideas of like content and so on and then i so happened to come across a drag um what's this thing drag makeup tutorial and i was like why don't i do that i've never done anything like that on my channel so why not so now the next step i'm not sure what she used on um the brows but it looks white so i'm assuming it's powder can it be powder what do drag queens <laughs> use after use on brows me use on brows after <laughs> using so the next thing is they say use powder and you need to pack this on the brows so that's what we're doing how's that <laughs> i think that's it i don't think i can get any more product on this brow than what i have right now i think this is enough you guys <laughs> So I'm just going to use my primer as per usual, I'm not touching my brows because you don't want to ruin it. After all this work we've done, girl, we do not want to ruin our brows. Okay, so 
For foundation, I'm going to be using two shades. So, well, two different foundations. Now, obviously, if you are doing drag, from what I've watched on RuPaul's Drag Race, you need full coverage. So for full coverage, I am using these two, NARS and the Too Faced one, Born This Way. Now, this one is, the prelim is very light for me. And this NARS, the Macau or Maca, whatever, is too dark for me. So I'm going to mix these two babies. So after going in with the brush, I like to go in um, with a beauty blender just to smooth everything out. More especially because I feel that when you combine these two foundations, they give you more of a dewy finish. So I'm going, especially under these lights. So I want like a really nice matte finish. Do you guys see the difference? Do you see the difference? Yeah, but... I feel like I must go in with another layer just to yes let's do that let's go in with another layer we're doing drag so we're not doing like normal everyday makeup we're going extra honey extra so we are going to go in with another layer of foundation because why not okay so let me just watch what happens next yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just got foundation on my t-shirt. Smart move. Smart move. Oh, so I missed a step, you guys. Before doing the top part of my face, I was actually supposed to put concealer first. I forgot to do that. So for concealer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 330. And basically applying this the old way of applying concealer because this is not how we apply concealer anymore but mind you this video was recorded excuse me this video was uh, uploaded or made live in December 2019 so that time we were still applying concealer Oh, and I was like, no. <laughs> Wait, let me go back. Can't be. I'm supposed to apply this on my nose as well. <laughs> like everywhere. <gasps> like all over. <laughs> so let's burn it. Then I'm going to take this sponge. Okay. And we're going to blend. I feel like you can't really see my concealer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with a much lighter shade because i feel that nikki's color is quite um prominent i just wish they did a lot of explaining as to what exactly they're doing on the face because i feel like i'm a bit behind okay i feel like on the brows they also used a lighter shade like here so i'm just going in with the maybelline i don't think i did a very good job with my brows you guys because you can still see my brows so the next thing is to contour but again they don't mention what product they used so i'm just going to see the placement and then i'm just going to try and do the same thing so with regards to placement, right. So I am all contoured up. <laughs> Woo! The next thing that they do is they contour the nose. So we are going to do that now. So I have never ever in my years. Wait, let me just double check that I'm doing the right thing okay so basically all we are doing is putting contour right here <laughs> right nose is snatched 
we are going to move on to applying powder all over this face like really applying powder <laughs> And we're basically applying this oh course all over the face i don't know what we want to wear i have never used so much powder in my life Woo! my pores are going to be screaming so getting some bronzer okay the next thing i think they took setting powder and they put it on the bridge of the nose before moving on to brows okay there's not really a tutorial on how they do the brows she just does the brows without actually explaining so i'm gonna do my brows my own way and we will make it work so so i am going to use this red right here and i'm going to pack that on the outer corner of the eye So the next one I'm going to go into is this pink one. I am going to switch this look up a bit because, listen, I can't follow everything they're doing step by step <laughs> because we are going to be here for the whole day. So I'm going to take this pink shade and I'm going to actually pack that on the crease. So guys, listen, I have been struggling, struggling. My battery keeps on dying and I had to quickly get this eye done before I lose my mind. So this is what we have on this eye. I still need to do the bottom lashes, but I can't even see anything because this eye is so dramatic. This eyelash is so dramatic. But anyways, so guys, this is what we have so far. I have no words at all. It doesn't look completely like how Nikki Tutorials did hers, but I think for my first drag queen makeup look, it is not too shabby, not too shabby at all. This eye, the bottom lashes look completely different, <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, you're gonna move on to the lips. She did have a red lip on, so I'm also gonna use these two for my lips. I am not even lining my lips, you guys. I am just going here. So. Oh, my eyes are actually getting watery. So I think that is okay. Oh, I'm messing up my lip now. That is okay for lips. So they did go in with glitter and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to use the same glitter that I used on my eyes for the lips and just find the brush and I'm just gonna pack that on so for lips I did use the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid which is that one and obviously I went in with the glitter now I've already applied blush the blush that I used is this one by Juvia's, which is that shade right there and then i'm going to apply some highlighter if i can find it on this table here's my highlighter which is the heroin that one by Juvia's as well you guys know how i love my Juvia's products so yee. Guys, you should see the state of this table. It is sickening. Sickening. So, this is our final drag look. What do you guys think? I think for our first drag queen look, we didn't do so bad. We definitely did not do so bad. We passed the assignment, not flying colors, but we passed. That's the main important thing that we passed. Woo! What do you think? Mm. Ah, I love it. I, and I've got lipstick on my teeth. I absolutely love what we did. Thank you, Nikki, for the tutorial. 
love it, love it. So that's it for this video you guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I struggled but enjoyed making it <laughs> I hope to see you on my next one please don't forget to like share subscribe do all the things that need to be done to get the word out about this video and I will see you on my next one Mwah! bye bye you guys don't forget to tell your friends by chat about that bible to subscribe to my channel I love you guys and I will see you on my next one can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going before we get lost. Can we just talk? Figure out where we're going.